Alright, here's the floor number two. my ability because my crystal's getting attacked. That was kind of a ser more serious mob. Now, I don't know. I have a lot of production right now. So, I actually, I want to kind of upgrade my food storages, I believe. This might be pretty good. This is a good room because there's three slots to that room. And I have two connecting slots. So, as the game advances, like, you get more connecting rooms. So, let me just move both these guys up here. Let me think. I want to build probably some food, to build up the food storages a lot, so now I'm going to build up uh, just some really badass defenses in this room I think. Now I don't want to get too carried away, but as, as the further you progress through a level, the harder and the more mobs there are. The rooms connected to the crystal are the most important to like beef up really, and uh, sort of occupy if you want to call it. Now I got tear gas, I got a cannon. These cannons are really cheap, so I'll just build another one. This room is excellent, there's six of them in here. So we'll see how far this room sort of goes. I could build another one over here. So I'll build a production generator in there. And that's what production is really good. When I go to the next floor, now I'm like really, you know, I can spend the whole time on this floor gaining, you know, resources. I don't build any defenses in that room because it's not really connected to anything. So again, just sort of pretty easy. I don't want to progress in that room because there's a room connected to it. But I will check out this room. Okay, not too bad. So definitely I want to upgrade the science and it's perfect because I just got the amount of science I need. So let's upgrade that. go to this room here. Now if I wanted to, I could produce in here, just make sure no monsters spawn and destroy that. But we'll just see what happens. Look at how much food I'm cranking out now. So there's a monster in there. See, they're, they're not destroying it. So, that's good. See, sometimes they destroy it, it's kind of weird if, if they do or not. So look, at this guy's level 1. I'm going to upgrade him. I could probably upgrade him again. The band he's at level three already, because that you can see how powerful this uh, charge ability is. That's why I bring it along. Other characters have it, but you know, I just I'm used to playing with her. Now let me think. I kind of want to connect these rooms together because I want to have a science room. Okay. Okay, there we go. Another crystal. Now these crystals disintegrate. These crystals give you abilities. They're kind of stupid actually, but some of them are pretty good. Like, the monsters won't even see me. So I can just be beating them down the whole time. And they only last for two, two rooms. Okay, let me think. I kind of want to build another one. These two rooms are powered up, so I could actually build a, a science one here. My science is very low. See, the monsters don't even see him, so he's just gonna beat these guys down a little bit. Probably build another one too. Another science one, I think. I mean, food is so important later on, so I don't know. So you carry your character's levels along, so I already have a science one, I have an industrial one. Let's build another food one.
Now my science one got upgraded, so that's okay. Let's see what else now I have. I don't really understand the shop. It's not really my thing. Again, we got that Tesla module that I should probably try to get. Now I could move her to another room, but this is a bottleneck room, so it acts for her really well to defend it if I get hit by a serious swarm of mobs. Right now I'm just letting the bottleneck work. So yeah, definitely I'm going to bring him aboard. He looks like another sword guy. I haven't, I haven't seen this. Oh, I played with him once. But I'm just going to shift him to the other room. See if I have any items. Nope. Let's see what he's kind of all about. So when he activates an ability, he's pretty powerful. I can upgrade him actually to level 3 right now. And again, I like it. He gives all the heroes in the room a plus 5 speed bonus. So, some of these guys have really good group buffs like him. Again, if I was more aggressive, I could push into these rooms. Because, see, I have three rooms available. But it's, so far, I'm not in trouble. So I just let the game kind of play out. Let's see, I found some hostile creatures. And now I have a third companion. So I'm going to just probably smoke these guys. It's a little tedious, you know, going back. But uh, it is what it is. Like, that's just how the game... You know, if you want to beat the game. I didn't hear the noise, so there's my guy's sword still up. You can see he's out of cloud, so I know there's two stragglers. Okay, so I've kind of cleared this out. Now, if I was really aggressive, there's a lot over in this room. And I don't want to shift her off, but I could. So this is still the bottleneck room. The problem is, is now I have to open up these rooms. So I kind of want to, I'm going to have to build some very minor defenses over here. And I don't want to shift her off unless I have to. And I don't, if I move her off now or out of the room, she'll lose that ability. So I want to keep her in the room until I open the door. When I open the door, I get the resources. So I'm just going to build a couple little, you know, things maybe in here or just one for now. Let's just see how that handles. So I want to defend these nodes. Let's see what's in this room. So I found the exit. See, and if I would have moved her off up to here, it would have been okay. But now she collects this because there could be nothing in this room as well. And again, I'm opening up every door because I can get trees. So I see the monsters are spawning over here. I just paused it to see what it is. So the monsters haven't spawned in either one of those rooms. I'm just going to move these two guys back to the, the, the choke point. And my science is back up. Where I can probably research something. I see that there's two waves. So this might be more intense. So I can activate one of his abilities. It's kind of cool because he's like a cyborg too. He's kind of cool. So she hasn't even left the room yet. And you can see my food is crazy high. Um, I could upgrade him to level 4 probably. But I know she's real powerful. See, she also has uh, that mod. That one's really good. I really like her, but let's actually buff this guy up. I haven't played with him. So, and his buff is 35, so it's not that expensive. So now he can, op he can repair the rooms too, which is... You know, okay. It's okay in later on when there's a lot of mobs just swarming your your, your guy. So again, I'm gonna move these two up here. And again, if I, I want to just be aggressive, I could actually build. You know, these are really cheap, and I could build into these two rooms we're gonna spawn, so they know the choke point choke point has to go in through here. Let me go see what I can research in science, though. 
I definitely need a more hard hitting, you know, module. Or, you know, it's a medium damage instant attack module. And I think I am gonna just sort of, you know, make this a little safer. So I can actually just automatically move him back. Oh, really? Because I'm gonna move them back to the choke, choke point. But I, they can come to this room, I guess, so let's just see what happens. Oh, now he can modify this stuff too, so... See, now he's actually uh, doing the food as well. And I believe that is the last door. No, there's actually one, two more doors over here. Now I'm gonna play a little risky. So this is really powerful. So now I have two of these guys that can uh, activate these nodes. I'm gonna do something a little risky. I'm gonna open the door and if there's a guy, I'm gonna shift the other two guys back into this room. And there is, so not a big deal. And I'm gonna activate his ability. Not attacking the crystal. So I thought it was more serious than that. Let's move him. It's actually so this room is sort of again. We'll just see how this plays out. This is starting to get a little bit more harder to guard. I can easily build one of these up here. Prevent again, mob. I want to secure this wing. So I can easily leave this floor, but I don't want to because I want to get all the resources I can. I only have two more doors left, so I don't feel like really committing. So let me move her back into here. And I want to have... Again, I want to try to have... Maximize as much as I can, so I'm going to move them into there. So again, if there's nothing in this room, it's a free room. See? And now these two are like a freebie. Oh, see? They're choking off at the choke point. So let's just see what happens. I see three waves, so I know I'm going to have to pull this guy off, unfortunately. And I probably want to build a Tesla module. I could probably build a Tesla module. Let's just try actually just doing this and see if I can do it. Pop her ability too. See, she's getting really injured. So I'm going to have to use some food, and I don't want to. His ability's up in one turn, now his up in three. So, okay. I did, probably didn't even need to use that food, so I was kind of new with me. Since I have two rooms available, I can just build, again, a really cheap way to just power that room. Because I don't want these guys coming in and getting the crystal. They can't. Okay, there's too many guys in here, so I have to pull these guys off. three waves again, so you see how it's getting harder and harder. Oop, I thought I killed him, but I didn't. She's getting really hurt again. So I'm going to have to use food on her again. Or I can level her up. It doesn't ma make her food go up. So sometimes what I do with these players, if they're really hurting, I back them off. To another room. We kind of spread the damage out. Because this game is pretty challenging.
So you can see I have a lot of resources now for the next one. And again, if I want to, I could just build a little thing in this room to prevent it. So I have two, I could push this down more, so, slow the mobs down. But I have a feeling this is the last door, so let's just see what happens. I definitely, uh, you know, just want to build something in here to get some defense, just in case. Yeah, so we have another room. Yeah, so here is three waves again. Let's actually build up a Tesla unit then. Let's build up a tear gas unit maybe. Maybe I went a little overboard there, but it's fine. Look at my food, it's going up like crazy. Um, something I'm neglecting again is the science note, so sometimes I neglect it. You have to constantly check it. So now I have 40 again, let's see what I can get. Oh, definitely. I need to get that. So let's move him to the science note and just see what happens, if I can get it. And again, it's probably better to build those nodes through like little ones like this, but remember I discovered those later, so some of it's just luck of the draw. This room's really strong now. This is probably the last door somewhere. There's some mobs though. Two waves. I'm gonna pull him off though because now they don't get any more. kill the mobs you get dust so some of the guys abilities have ability more abilities to pick up the dust the monster dust to power the rooms like I was saying for every 10 dust you get you can pick up more of the rooms of more rooms so that's it I built probably too much in this room that was my mistake so let's actually get everybody into the main room except for this guy he's gonna pick up the crystal so I'm doing okay I mean, I have a good amount of resources. I always want to leave with production. So on the next floor, I can build stuff and eat defenses right away. So the industry, I keep calling it production, but it's really called industry. So I'll pause it, I've all my guys, I'm good to go.